What's up, Divine Moon Goddess fam? Bam! It's your Divine Moon Goddess coming at you with a little bit of tarot. All right, Aries, what is up with you guys? I wanted to do a bonus and see what is this full moon energy bringing you. So this is a full moon in Scorpio, and it is a lunar eclipse. So um, this energy is powerful. Um, it can be transformative. And especially if you, you got to look at whatever else is going on in the chart. Okay. It's not just about, um, it's not just about the lunar eclipse. It's really where the planets are kind of at, where they're stationed. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that, uh, in this, um, and give you guys a cool message, um, to kind of go with that, because I think sometimes we get caught up on, um, we get caught up on what what is what is being said, right? What is being said? What are people throwing at us? <laughs> um, what does it really symbolize, right? A so not a solar lunar eclipse. Um, okay, let's see. So one of the biggest things I want you guys to know is the eclipse energy can bring on um, things that you are destined for, uh, encounters, new beginnings, opportunities, faded endings. Uh, so that's breakdowns and breakthroughs, okay? Um, if you're in a state of crisis right now, expect shit to like get crazier. Um, sometimes this energy pushes us out of our comfort zone and, and just changes the game for us, okay? So a lot of times um, we don't realize that we're in our, our little safety net, right? And then Spirit's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. So I'm going to put three cards here, okay? One is going to be your past energy, um, all right? Your past energy, what you need to leave behind for this full moon, um, what you need to focus on, which is present energy. And then the other one is going to be where you're headed if you don't make changes, okay? So first card coming out is Hierophant in the reverse. So it is a lot of you in the past, uh, whether it be afraid of relationships, uh, refate, refra Ooh, I can't even get my words out. Are you just afraid to say what you need to say? Uh, Hierophant in the reverse, some of you guys have been very egotistical, thinking you know it all, thinking you have it all uh, down pack, thinking, you know, not listening because uh, you're a hard head. Of course, Hierophant in the reverse can be so many meanings. I'm going to pull some more cards on that, but in a minute. Um, the other part about this is that there's a fact of lessons. Did you learn the lesson from the past? Okay. Um, in the present, Spirit wants you to stop going back to the past. Leave the shit in the past. Let's not go to the past. The past is not helping in your present. Six of Cups in the reverse. Leave the past in the past. Stop bringing up who did what, when, and where to you. It's not going to fucking assist you. And what do we need to focus on? Knight of Cups. So some of you guys need to focus on doing things that you love, um, getting back into your heart space, being compassionate, being loving, and, and being real with your emotions, okay? I feel like some of you got a lot of um, uh, shit that's just always getting your attention, always pulling you from your path. Uh, a lot of you guys are still weak-willed, and that means that you're easily distracted. You're easily allowing something to pull you away from where you need to go, um, and that's really a choice for yourself. You know, that's a choice that you're making. So... What else do we need to know about this past energy? If anything, uh, does Aries need to know about this past energy of what we're leaving behind? Oh, yeah. Some of you guys are really chained to some belief systems and pre-programming that you were like, well, I, I'm this, so I have to be this. Or, you know, um, I'm this color or this nationality. Or I work at this job. Or I'm just going to be broke. Or, you know, oh, no, there's no good men or no good women. Or, you know, I'll always be a drug addict. Or I'll always be this. You know, you were really stuck. Bottom of the deck has the justice card. So we really are cutting some contracts here and karmic cords as we're focusing and repairing and really breaking through um, some things. And some of you guys could actually left a marriage uh, with the justice card, breaking away from a marriage, 
breaking away from a toxic situation. Okay. Um, six of cups here. What do they want you to really focus on? Look, Knight of Pentacles popping out for you. So Spirit really wants you to focus on what are you building right now? Because everything that you're building right now is going to either take you to the next level or it's going to um, break you to the next level. You know what I mean? So Spirit is really, really, really telling you to look at what is it that you're doing and why, okay? Um, I feel like right now it's about Google, search, uh, going back to school, getting the education. Um, even if it's spiritual, it's it's looking, it's searching, it's finding, it's it's um, doing your diligence to get the right information. Stay out of the past. Spirit doesn't want you to look there anymore. That was just there to assist and help, but not for you to dwell. And so the biggest thing you got to do to get to this future, but you're not going to see this future if you keep living in the past. It's not going to happen. Nine of Cups energy spirit says you're not seeing the beauty that what could happen. You're not seeing what's right in front of you. You're not speaking your truth. Or you're not being honest with yourself with the Knight of Swords. Some of you guys got a this person coming back that you can't shake. This person could be negative. This person could be a pessimist. This person could be very arrogant. This person could be very shitty with their words. The biggest thing about it is how you react to this situation um, is everything, Aries. So for some of you guys, you got this person who's coming back in very childish. Uh, they're they're going to tell you how much they love you. They're going to tell you how much they care, but have they really changed? I don't see that with the sun card in the reverse and the knight of swords. I love the sun card. But in this particular um, aspect, I'm not seeing someone who's changed. So Aries, look in the mirror and make some changes. And this is what I got for you guys. Um, just your bonus uh, full moon energy. All right. Love and lights. Light and love.